morning children a very warm welcome to another series of videos where you get to see so many activities which are there in your chapter 2 counting in groups once again i am looking like a shopkeeper and that to the one who is there in fairs you know where they give you a ball and you have to break the pyramid but please don't think of breaking my pyramid of cups okay today i am going to teach you how to count things which are in groups now you also make teams or groups for playing similarly we have also made the groups of few things for instance if you have to count these cups how you will co count 3 are there 1 2 3 3 and three are here now you know 3 plus 3 is 6 and there are 4 under this 1 2 3 4 6 plus 4 is 10 so these are 10 cups instead of counting like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 how have we done 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 so our addition and our counting has become faster this way okay now these apples We, they are in groups of 2 2 2 2 2 2 and 2 now you want to know how many apples are these so how you will do you should you should do 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 so these are 12 apples there was another way of doing it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 but like this babies do we are in class 2 now we must learn new techniques so this is the new technique we are going to learn that is counting in groups so how we have done i will repeat it once more these apples are in the groups of 2 and let us see how many groups have we made one group two group three four group five group six groups there are six groups of apples so this is 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 10 and 10 plus 2 12 so whether we count one uh, each apple individually or we add add them up in twos the answer will be 12 okay now i am not wearing any bangles all i have kept here in the group of 5 see 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so there are two groups of 5 each so 5 plus 5 is 10 you are right now look at these spoons let us see you can easily see that there are three groups three groups of spoons and in each group how many spoons are there 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 four four spoons So how are we supposed to add them? Four plus four, eight. Eight plus four, twelve. So so easy. So you don't have to count like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No need. You can just say four plus four. You have learned this much. Four plus four is eight. Eight. Plus four, do it. Come on. Eight plus four is twelve. 
This is how we do the counting in groups. So when the things are lying in groups, counting total number of things becomes easier and faster. Wasn't it a nice activity? Let us now read chapter number two, counting in groups. Look and guess the number. Can you guess how many cups? Children, can you guess how many cups? See, three cups, then three. Three plus three is six. And four cups in the lowermost line. So six plus four is ten. Okay, let us count whether actually they are ten or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten cups. Can you guess how many pairs of shoes? See, each row has got three pairs. Three plus three. Three plus three is six. Six plus these three. Six plus three is nine. So nine pairs of shoes. Okay, let us count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pairs of shoes. Three and three is six cups and four cups below. That should be ten cups. There are three lines with three pairs of shoes in each line. That makes nine pairs of shoes. Okay, let us read this chat this page now. Look at how different things are kept in groups. Try to guess the total number without counting each thing. Okay, now it is your turn to do it. See, they have kept these glass tumblers in the groups of, how many are there in one group? Just by looking at it, you can make out there are three glasses here, three glasses in this group, three glasses here and three glasses here. So there are four groups. Okay, then 3 plus 3 is, yes, 6. Now 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. So 12 glasses. Okay, let us count once again, one by one, whether they are 12 or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, it means this method of grouping and adding is correct. It is absolutely right. Oh, lovely. That's a nice method. Okay, now. You have to find out how many bangles are there in one group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So children, all the groups have got 5, 5 bangles each. Now 5 plus this 5. 5 plus 5 we know it is 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 5. 20 and 20 plus 5, 25. So 25 bangles in all. Okay, so it seems 
These are the earrings of your mama. Okay, we have to find out how many pairs of earrings are there. Now children, these earrings, they are not in proper groups. So, but chalo, we can say that this is one group, three earrings, then this is another group, three earrings. Three plus three is six. Okay, then these th three earrings make another group. Six plus three is nine. Nine and these three earrings make another group. Nine plus three is twelve. So we have twelve pairs of earrings. Okay, now these are spoons. Yeah. So, in every group, how many spoons are there? If we consider that this whole is one group, this is one group. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 spoons in one group and there are 3 groups. So, 8 plus 8. Come on, tell me what is 8 plus 8? Mm, come on, come on, come on. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 8. Okay, do it, do it in your mind. 16 plus 8. 24. So, total are 24 spoons. Now, there are three groups of spoons. How many in each group? How many group? How many spoons are there in each group? Eight. And guess the total number of spoons. The total number of spoons are 24. Let us count like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So our guess was right. Okay children. So for today, that's all. See you in the next video. Enjoy yourself. Take care and look after yourself. Thank you children.